Hey everyone, it's been a while since our last update. Um, we've had some legal issues which prevented us from talking about the game development. Thankfully that's resolved now and that's the reason why we've had to work under the radar for the past couple months. So thank you all very much for being patient and we're really appreciative of your support. The good news is that we've successfully gotten the game engine from Valve. Uh, Blade Symphony now runs on the Portal 2 version of Source Engine and our team has been making some amazing progress, which I'm about to show you right now. So in moving to the Portal 2 engine, we've had to basically rewrite all of the menu UI because uh, the old stuff was using the source modification UI. And so we wanted, you know, the game's gonna be on uh, a brand new engine and so we, we're gonna give it a brand new interface to go along with it. So here it is. So in addition to redoing the main menu system, we've also given a facelift to the character selection screen, which is also now the sword selection screen, and they're, they're now part of the same uh, interface. Uh, one of the biggest changes that uh, has happened since the last time you saw the game was that we've decided to give every single character his or her own unique moves so that every character is completely unique there's no sort of reused animations every character has their own uh, attack and has basically has their own style we want to give uh so if you if you, if you picked for example knight here um his attacks are really really slow heavy but very calculated um and also a little bit sneaky uh whereas phalanx shown here he, his moves are basically more uh, poke and strike attacks and sort of more riposte and bouncing backwards after striking and he's he always really keeps a distance uh, and that's the vocabulary of his attack moves and we want to give players uh, the option to basically express themselves through these characters so you may have noticed in the previous clip that phalanx was doing air attacks uh, we've reintroduced jumping into the game to give you more flexibility on how you want to approach combat. Uh, we'll talk more about this feature in a future update. Alright, let's take a look at where the game is now. Remember, this is still very much a work in progress. You're looking at our new map called Temple, which is the Buddhist style combination of a dojo and a temple. Up above is the redesigned health HUD, which has a new look and feel pass, which we're currently doing for the entire heads up display. We've done countless iterations on the blocking system in the past, but we're still changing how it works. In this build, your, if your swords physically collide, both players will end up in a parry. We'll probably do a full feature video about how this works in the near future. There's also some hit stop every time damage is registered. It's purely for visual effect, but it's important to make attacks feel powerful. We've also added some death animations, but we still want you to have the satisfaction of turning somebody into a ragdoll and having them fly across the room. Finally, there's a new spectator camera, which emulates the look of old classic fighting games. Uh, we call this the arcade cam. That's it for this update. There's no way to show every single new thing that we've been working on in a single update video. But we are working day and night on Blade Symphony, and we have a pretty solid plan to get it into your hands as soon as it's ready. Thank you for watching. You can learn more about Blade Symphony at blade-symphony.com.